we're often asked, you know, what is it that we use to help observe the teams while they're doing their real work such that we can give the right data and ask the right questions. And so we have developed a framework called OPN. And what OPN stands for is Outcome, Pattern, and Norms. And it's a very powerful framework, which means that teams are constantly living in and working in a set of patterns, behavioral patterns, feeling patterns, and work practice patterns. And those patterns are very consistent in every team. And those patterns lead to very specific outcomes. And the same patterns lead to the same outcomes. And those patterns are based upon what we call a set of norms. And norms in this tradition mean the thinking mechanisms, the thought processes that exist in the minds of the team members that drive the patterns. And our job as team coaches is actually to observe the team, identify those patterns, notice those patterns, gather feedback on those patterns, and feed them back to the team, or have the team notice their own patterns, and have them make the linkage between those patterns and their outcomes. That's a powerful idea. They can start to notice, wow, when we do this, we get that. When we do that, we get this. And then for them to go a little deeper and ask themselves the question, what are we really thinking about that drives the pattern? Once they realize all of that, they can then select new patterns that they wish to adopt with new outcomes in mind and put the mechanisms in place to make sure those patterns stick. And one of those mechanisms is new norms or new ways of thinking. That's the basic work we do as team coaches. So here's a very quick example, a simple one. As a team coach, you notice a pattern. Team members are late to meetings, consistently late, five, 10 minutes. Not only that, but they walk in late, they don't say they're sorry. There was no forewarning. And every time people are late, the meeting starts over again. And the outcome is you waste time, People get frustrated and people feel disrespected. So you identify the pattern, you let them know, they identify the outcome that comes from it and you ask them what are some of the norms that might be there. And they'll say things like, well, we all believe that our time is more important than the team's time, that it's okay to be late, that we're not gonna be called out on it. You might then ask them, what's a different pattern? And they may say, well, we'd like to be on time. It'd be good to be on time. What outcome would you have? Well, we'd start meetings on time. We wouldn't be redundant. We wouldn't have to start over again. We wouldn't waste time. Well, then what's a norm that would drive a new pattern called being on time? And the team might say, well, we'd have to believe for real that the team's time is important, that it's disrespectful to be late, and that if we show up late, we're going to get called out. If those norms existed, then the pattern would change, and we'd have that great outcome of being on time.